What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Juice and Toya podcast brought to you by One Body Los Angeles. I'm your co-host, Juice. And I am Toya. Welcome to episode 11 of the Juice and Toya podcast. Oh, yeah. Today, we have a really fun one. Um, it's obviously by the title, How to Build your own home gym for under a hundred dollars. But oh, yeah. this one is fun because we get into a lot of different pieces of equipment, especially mm. if you follow our channel, you know, we mostly use dumbbells and body weight, yeah. but we can show you how to spice up your at home workouts. Oh yeah. And ever since 2020, when COVID hit, um, a lot of people have invested in equipment and things for their home gym. And most of most people, especially our clients have not even gone back to the gym. Right. So um, a lot of people have turned their, extra rooms into gyms or kind of made it sort of a hybrid uh, sort of room for mm -hmm. their uh, gym equipment. So we're going to give you some tips and some equipment um, references that we think will be beneficial for you, especially if you're someone who uh, has been doing a lot of body weight exercises for a while and you want to sort of start investing in equipment uh, for your home gym. We're going to give you some um starting points that you can start with as far as uh, the equipment that you need so yes yes all yeah. right so let's get into some housekeeping, housekeeping. first yep. um first we have had a tremendous amount of people finish level up 2.0 now we've mentioned this in other podcasts um again it's an eight-week program it's not a challenge so um it's been out for more than eight weeks now so we've had people finish it at various different levels because you can start it whenever Anytime. you want. Um, yeah. But it is definitely our most comprehensive. Yeah. Um, and I think the biggest feedback we've gotten so far is strength building. Mm -hmm. The amount of strength that people have built, they feel stronger, they went up in their weight. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the fat loss, the weight loss, that takes care of itself. But to us, the the most amazing thing is when people feel strong and yeah, confident. Um, sure. So yeah, check out Level Up 2.0. <laughs> it is on our Juice and Toya app. If you don't want a monthly app subscription, you can also purchase the program, yes. one-time purchase, and you have the program for life. So oh, yeah. two different options on completing the eight-week program. Oh yeah, and also we have to mention the merch. We still have merch. We're always going to have merch available on the J channel. So if you want to support Get you some fresh gear, especially for the holidays. Be sure to order as fast as possible so we can get that shipped out to you yes. uh, before the holidays start. So uh, we appreciate everybody who has given us, uh, who has supported us with yes. our merch. Um, and also be sure to tag us on Instagram and all that good stuff of you wearing our merch um, in your workouts and your stories and stuff like Yay. that. And last but not least, we mentioned this in our last ep episode, but... Um, we are doing a new challenge for the new year. It's a four-week challenge. It's the Fresh Start Challenge. Um, we just want to put this in your ear uh, in a sense of just getting geared up for everything. So January 8th, we are starting a new challenge. This is a program, so don't feel like you have to do it as a challenge. You can do this whenever. If you want to start on the 12th, the 15th, whatever the case may be. Um, but we are starting the challenge on January 8th. And this is um, one of our... I don't think we've worked... I, I guess that's not true. I was going to say, I don't think we've worked this hard on that any project. That might be true. Yeah, it might be true. We've put a lot of work and time. We <laughs> yeah. filmed 16 <clears throat> brand, brand new, new. follow-along workouts. My gosh. Um, and it, it has taken a lot of work. I mean, our eight-week program was the most comprehensive, but it didn't require as much work in terms of filming and editing. Yeah. Um, this one's been the biggest yeah. workload, for Curren sure. Currently editing these videos as yes. we speak. So we're excited about that. It's going to be brand new videos. Um, contrary to our previous challenges where some, the workouts are uh, usually workouts that we've already posted on our channel and we kind of formulate it into a program. This program is every single workout is brand new. Brand you haven't new. seen it before. So um, we're excited about it. It's something new, something fresh. And um, we're going to roll out more news as the weeks go out. So stay tuned to our Instagrams. Uh, Instagrams. Uh, is that a word? I guess I guess it is. Our Instagrams, Instagrams, yeah. and uh, YouTube, and all that good stuff for more, net, more notifications on when we're dropping all that stuff. So. Yes, yes. Yep. All right. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's get into the episode. All right. So yeah. Again, we wanted to um, just kind of give you a starting point. Again, this is by the title of this video. We're not teaching you how to build an actual gym for a hundred dollars. Right. Like, I wish. You don't have to take, you know, have to take a loan out and <laughs> get some builders. <laughs> But we're talking more so about 
equipment, how to invest in certain equipment, um, some cost effective ways, mm-hmm. obviously, because we want to try to keep this under a hundred dollars. And at the end of this episode, uh, we'll talk about a giveaway. We want to do a giveaway uh, to one lucky person, and we're going to give you a hundred dollar home gym. Woo-hoo. All right, all right. So getting started, <laughs> um, we want to talk about the different pieces of equipment yep. um, that we think could be essential and have many different uses yep. um, and we'll kind of go into the costs that we've found have been yeah. normal um, as far as cost so yeah. let's get started with dumbbells yeah very well, first before we get started let's talk about you know the importance of just having um, okay. equipment yeah in just in your home in general so again ever since COVID mm-hmm. happened one thing I've found um, as far as just being consistent is, and working out is it's a lot easier to get in a workout when you already have everything yes. you need at home. You know, I'm, I'm sure everybody who has transitioned their workout style <laughs> you yeah. know, over time can say that, look, it's a lot easier to stay consistent. I can't make the excuse that I can't make it to the gym or I can't drive to the gym or it's traffic. Or child care. Child like, care. Oh, the babysitter didn't show up. Exactly. Yes. So it's a lot easier to really just roll out of bed. If you have equipment at home, let's say you have dumbbells, kettlebells, and you have a TV, you have you can access <laughs> YouTube. It's so much accessible to uh, be able to access mm-hmm. your workouts um, compared to, you know, just going to the gym and, and doing the norm. So um, this is why we highly recommend a lot of people invest in equipment because, again, you know, we have equipment also to where we can get a good workout at home, but also we can go to the gym. So we have options, right? Exactly. You want to have as many options uh, that's going to help you stay consistent and honestly eliminate those excuses. And <laughs> that I think come with- um, just I mean, I think for everyone, since we go like pre-COVID and post-COVID, it's two different things. So pre-COVID, we were full time trainers like from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'd be one on one training. So we were at a gym pretty much all day. So we had no equipment at home, but we always had time to work out at the gym. There'd be times we'd have an hour in between clients. We'd have, you know, a couple hours. So we had no really big need to have equipment. Mm -hmm. But now we might have like an hour before a meeting where it's not really enough time to go to the gym, but you have enough time to work out. Before, I wouldn't have gotten a workout in because (laughs) I was like, oh, I can't drive to the gym, work out and make it back in an hour. Now I can say, okay, I have an hour before my next meeting. Let me get in a quick 45 minute workout. Gives me time to shower up real quick and have the meeting. Yeah. So it's even if you have a gym membership, like he said, it's good to have because if you can't make it to the gym, that doesn't mean you can't get in a workout or utilizing our channel 20 minute, 30 Mm -hmm. minute, 40 minute. There's always something that you can get in. Oh, yeah. So the equipment that we're going to mention today, um, we're we're mentioning all these pieces of equipment because these are pieces of equipment that we've used um, over the long run. We've used this piece of equipment. We've given it to our clients uh, to where we utilize it. Uh, within their uh, virtual sessions that we have. So, um, again, these are all, like, equipment that are – it's going to give you that variation. We talked about this in our previous podcast. Like, you want to have a lot of variation uh, within your workouts. You don't just want to do, you know, dumbbells. If you just have dumbbells, obviously, that's great. But the more variation you can add to your workouts, throw a little barbell in there, some Mm -hmm. kettlebell movements, um, the better you'll be off in a sense of really just – challenging your body and uh keep your body guessing in the sense of having some change over Mm -hmm. time so all right let's roll into it let's get into um some pieces of equipment that we definitely highly recommend for your home gym yes starting off with toya mentioned dumbbells dumbbells you gotta have a pair a fresh pair of dumbbells in your arsenal um and we're gonna give you some obviously like some costs on how you can access this piece of equipment as well and what you should start off with so i always say you know, start off with a weight. Um, I don't care. And we always get this question. <laughs> we, what weight should I start? If what I'm, a, if I'm a man, I'm yeah, 5'10". Yeah. And, I, and it's like, you know, I can't, we don't recommend any weight, whether you're male or female. I don't know your um, strength levels, right? right? So I usually tell people to start off, you know, male or female, 10 to 15 pound weights. That's, that's usually a good starting weight that you can start off with. It's not going to be heavy enough um, to where you can like build some crazy muscle but in a sense of if you're a beginner especially and you're looking to just get into these workouts Mm -hmm. you're doing youtube workouts especially it's just a good starting weight um, for a lot of different exercises right you can still get some good um, work with your legs but also with your upper body 10 to 15 pound weights are usually uh, pretty good and then you can kind of work from there and as you do the workouts you can kind of feel out all right 
with my lower body, I can challenge myself a little bit more with my lower body. Maybe I can invest in some 25 pounds right. weights or something like that. So, Yep. And like you said, male or female, because everyone's strength levels are different. So mm-hmm. um, kind of feel it out and, and kind of see what the workouts feel like. If it's super, super easy, then of course you can um, go up in weight, but that's usually 10 to 15 pounds is usually a good starting weight that gives you a little bit of challenge Mm -hmm. um and even if it is too easy if you up the reps it'll still make it more challenging so um what we found is a 10 pound pair of dumbbells Mm -hmm. is usually going to run around 25 dollars um and a 15 pound pair is going to run about 40 dollars so i say pair because some people had like random dumbbells <laughs> laying in their garages. Um, and just so you just dumbbells. need, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and I mean, we've found dumbbells everywhere from sports shops, Target, Walmart. Yeah. Um, we had some people say they went to like Ross or Five Below or like mm-hmm. a store like that and found some dumbbells. Yep. Um, so really look around. Honestly, where we got our dumbbells, a marketplace or like garage sales. <laughs> yeah. Like, seriously, weights are very expensive. And so if you can get some where someone might be moving and they're yeah. like, I can't take these weights with me, you can find a pretty good deal that way. Definitely uh, look into getting some, a used pair. At the, end yeah. of the, at the end of the day, you're going to you, use them. You're going to use them. You're going to put them to work. So it's, it makes no sense to get a brand new pair mm-hmm. uh, of dumbbells. So if you can find some cheaper that are used, definitely highly recommend that. But if you're someone like me, and you like your weights all uniform and looking yes. the same, Aesthetics. then look, I understand. Trust me. And if you're <laughs> going to build like an actual like gym or yeah, garage yeah. gym, like you might want things to be uniform. So you might keep it from the same place to yeah. where when you decide to get heavier weights, they all yeah. look uniform. So that's true. That's something to keep in mind. But if you're just like throwing things in your garage, you know, you don't really care what it looks like. A used pair absolutely is going to be the same benefit as a new pair. Yeah. So again, with dumbbells, you can do a variety of different workouts. You can do strength workouts, HIIT workouts, especially Mm -hmm. within uh, on our channel and on our app. There's a lot of things that you can do with them. But also, um, you know, we also recommend as far as like they come in different like looks too. Like you have those sort of uh, uh, they're like plastic coated uh, weights the, like neoprene neoprene, neoprene. yeah ex- yep. exactly yep. so you have those so if you're not too concerned about the look of the weights then those are great look they they're functional it's a dumbbell, <laughs> it's a yeah. dumbbell. at the end <laughs> of the day you're just trying to add some resistance to your workout so um one recommendation before we move on to the next thing i want to say is again i kind of mentioned it if you again if you, if you invested in some 15 pound weights let's say it run, ran you 30 bucks um it's you know, you're getting through those lower body exercises pretty easy. It might be a little bit more challenging for everybody. Let's say your shoulders um, are still it's still pretty challenging for your like shoulder presses. Um, the next weight up, I highly recommend people going up is about 10 pound increments. And the only reason I say that is you can go up five pounds, but I like to go up a little bit more than what you think you can do just because you may, let's say you're doing a um, 20 minute juice and toy workout. And within that interval, you only get in six to eight reps whereas with those 15 pound weights you usually get in 12 to 15 reps it's okay if you're not able to get those reps in because over time your body's going to be get acclimated to those 25 pound weights to the point where you're going to be able to challenge yourself a lot more instead of just investing in those 20s and you probably you know can can um reach that level a lot faster right so i recommend about 10 pound increments if you start with 10s Work your way up to 20 if you start with 15s, okay, vice versa. So that's good advice because we yeah. get asked that a lot too. Yeah. Like, I how much weight should yeah, I go up for sure, so. or or even down too, as well. Like, definitely recommend having some five pound weights in the mm-hmm. arsenal too, as well, especially for our hit workouts. Um, you the know, lightweight dumbbell the lightweight workouts. dumbbell workouts, we do mean lightweight, and we have a we have a new lightweight <laughs> dumbbell workout coming. coming out in the new year, and it definitely. When we say Toya used fives and tens, she used like yeah, even the tens. tens my, were tough. The tens yeah. got heavy, <laughs> right? So it's also good uh, movements that you can do it with light weights as well. So definitely recommend, you know, if I had to choose, uh, if I'm just starting out and I had to choose uh, a certain, like, let's say three pairs of weights, I would definitely grab some fives. I would do 15s and 25s. Mm-hmm. And I think if you got those three, you're pretty good to go. Absolutely. And unless, you know, you're someone who's a lot stronger, I, I would do maybe up that um, sort of uh, ratio a little mm-hmm. bit. You can do 15s, 25s, and 35s, something like that. Just create those 10-pound increments, uh, and you're good to go. So. All right. So we're at about 25 to $40, depending on Cha-ching. the weight of dumbbells that you use. Mm-hmm. So 
Next up, a piece of equipment that we think would be very beneficial is... Underrated oh, alert. Underrated is a resistance band. Yeah. And we're talking about the long super bands, not the booty <laughs> bands, um, but a resistance band. And there are so many different, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different... Um, bands. Different bands. <laughs> yes, there are different size bands. Um, but I'm trying to say different ways... That, that you can, can utilize use. the band, there but you go. not just exercises, um, stretches. stretches. You can use it to add more resistance to weights. There's so many different or ways physical, that physical therapy, physical exercises. therapy. Yep, Trust he me. had to use them. <laughs> um, and bands. What I like about them also is the they don't take up a lot of space, nope. right? So let's say you don't have a dedicated space in your home mm-hmm. for your gym and you don't want it to just be cluttered gym equipment in your living room, you can roll up that band and throw it in a cabinet, throw it in a, in a drawer, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't take up a lot of space, but they're very versatile. That's the word I was versatile. looking for. Versatile. They're very versatile. Yeah. yeah, and then also you can travel with them. That's Yep. That's one thing I like about bands is like if you don't have any piece of equipment, obviously you can't travel with some 10 pounds. You're going to make your luggage too I have heavy. seen people do that. That's, and that's wild. insane. That's wild. <laughs> that's hey, insane. power to you. If you need those weights with you, power to you. But with the resistance bands, you can literally take them anywhere. You can travel with them. It's great for the hotel workouts. If you need to get in some good strength, they come. Like she said, they come in a variety of sizes. Yep. So um, I think... Usually, like, it, it depends on what bands you get. They have a lot of different ones. They have the ones with the handles, yeah. which I don't necessarily like too much because I had a bad experience with one kind of popping me. You did? Yeah. That I'm so sorry that happened to you, but <laughs> also, I think they limit. <laughs> you want to tell that story? Yeah, I'll tell the story real quick. All right. <laughs> quick pause for story time. So, Juice and I were really good friends, and we worked out together a lot like this we, was back in 2022 i mean 2016, 2016 yeah and um we were 22 at the time we were 22 yes and we were really good friends and so we would work out together a lot and we went to this park and this was at when this happened it was like the first week that we kind of <laughs> liked each other and we were kind of dating so it was like a little bit more than friends but prior to that we really did work out together all the time yeah so we went to this park and he had the, one of those running parachutes, right? Where you put the parachute on the back, he takes off running in the parachute. No, it was resistance. A, it was a, not a parachute. It was like a little um, it had the belt. Waist. It was like a little belt. Yeah. And you attach the resistance band over the belt. But it, so it wasn't the parachute, but that's what it's it was like, doing. Yeah, right. It's the right. So same it was effect. creating some resistance. And so my job <laughs> was to hold the band. And he would take off running, and I'm holding and creating resistance, right? And and she, keep in mind, she went first, so I kind of showed her what like to how, how to do it and like to hold. It. So I'll let you tell. Yeah, it. yeah. So <laughs> I just want to point out that the bands he had, it had a clip, a metal clip that attached to him, so very sturdy. Yeah. And I was maybe 115 pounds at the time, and he was still like NFL shape, like yeah. very strong, you know. So. Me Little is holding the bands, and the band had metal handles, yeah. okay? So the handles weren't plastic. They were metal. <laughs> and the band was a very thick tube, mm-hmm. okay? So metal clipping, thick tube, metal handle, okay? Yep. So I'm standing. How far away was I? You are probably a good, like, it had some good stretch to it. So I'd say you're probably a good five yards away from me. Okay, a yeah. good five yards away. Yeah. So he's going, <laughs> and I'm trying to show off. I'm like... I'm strong. I can hold this handle. I say, hey, you sure you got it? I had She's it. She's like, yes, yeah, stop asking me that. I had it. I was trying to show <laughs> off a little bit to show how strong I can be. I just want to also say that this was in July. So it was hot. My hands <laughs> oh, were sweaty. Here come the excuses. And so I'm sitting back into a squat. He takes off so hard and powerful. It wasn't that hard. That it was very <laughs> strong. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. And the handle slipped out of oh my hands my just God. somehow. And it said, <laughs> and it snapped him right in the back of the hamstring so hard that he had on like the, the men's tights under his shorts. Yeah, it's ripped through the tights. The tights ripped. And all I saw was blood. Listen. And I, it really, it like sliced his hamstring. Listen, I. I'm a pretty dark skinned man. I don't bruise like that. That was like the first bruise. 
that I had. And, mm-hmm. I, of course, I was bleeding, too, but I had that bruise for a good two weeks. His legs swelled up. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I, do you still have a picture? I might. His legs swelled up, like, this big. I'm not kidding. It yeah, was, it was like huge. a giant goose egg on his hamstring. Look, I've never been shot before, but if I had to guess what it feels like to get shot. Because think five yards away and a metal band just said, pew, bah. and that metal handle just sliced through his yeah. legs. And it, I mean... When I say <laughs> I ran the fastest half mile in my life, we were half a mile away from the gym that we worked at. And so oh. I sprinted. I mean, I probably ran a 90 second, 800 meters. She was like the adrenaline kicked in. I sprinted to get him some ice. I get back and he's literally just laying there talking to a man that was like, did this girl try to kill you? And I was like, no, 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 no my a, goodness. Like, I, the funniest part, and God bless his soul, it was a homeless man that walked by the park. And just saw I him knew it was, and bleeding. I was laying there. And I knew it was bad when this homeless man asked me if I was okay. Man. And I was like, oh my God, this is It this looked is bad. bad. It was bad. And but. then I, you know, I came back, I brought him <laughs> ice. I pretty much carried him back to yeah. the apartment she, she because he couldn't gonna, walk. She thought I was going to break up with her. I did. I was very embarrassed. <laughs> I called my friend and I was like, this is it. And she's like, "Would like, it literally has been a week. I'm like, yeah, it's done. So <laughs> that's it. I ruined his whole life, his career. And you had that. They posted that picture of you and thought, we, oh, and yeah. it was, it was uh, during a very bad time. He yeah. had some fitness opportunities oh, coming up. God. Still like low, 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 low. I really low couldn't work NFL. out. I no. couldn't work out for no. a, little, a solid like week and a half, yeah. almost two weeks. You can barely walk. Yeah. So, um, so resistance bands, yeah. um, <laughs> <clears throat> the ones with the handles, They're although great. they have bad stories, they are great. But personally... I think they also limit you because yeah. with super bands, you can put your feet in them and press. You yeah. can do you can do a lot more things. You don't um, necessarily need the handles. Or yeah. Also, you can get the little carabiners and you can attach yeah. uh, like a handle to them as well. So if you like the handles, great. But I'm I'm personally not a big fan of them. But we highly recommend like the super bands. They come in a variety of different uh, resistances. Like they come in and they, I think they state like like the skinny band is like 15 to 25 pounds. Different pounds and the medium band is like... 25 to 45 so uh, we highly recommend resistance bands you can do pretty much anything with them you can do lower body exercises upper body curls shoulder presses rows um, and we have uh, some resistance band workouts on our channel that yep. we need to do an update. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah, and I think a do. lot of people who have those resistance bands love them. So um, definitely check them out. We have some on our website. Yes. So go check them out, onebodyla.com backslash shop and get you some resistance bands. Um, we and- have medium ones and like we have two different sizes. Yes, so sure. I will say the I mean, you'll see it, but the green one, it's more versatile for yeah. more things. The black one <clears throat> is pretty tough. Yeah. Um, so unless you're like super strong and you're going to use like be able to fight that resistance, I'd yeah. recommend the green one for sure. And you know what? Just because I'm feeling good today. Are you feeling good? You know, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm going to give you 10% off. Woo! Just type in code Juice and Toya Podcast and I'm going to give you 10% off any resistance bands that you okay. want on the website. So we just want to a generous make that clear. man. Uh, you know, I'm feeling good today. You know, you guys deserve it. You've been supporting us. So I want to give back. So there you okay. go. All right. Well, um, discount aside, we have found that most resistance bands will run you anywhere from eight to twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the heavier the resistance band, um, the more expensive it'll be. Yep. Um, but again, if you're first starting off, get you a like light to medium sized resistance band, you'll be able to do a lot with it. Yep. And then as you get stronger, you can try to progress. Um, I will say if you're going to use the band for pull-ups, that's another good, Ooh, um, a that's good way good. to use the band. That's go good. heavier yeah. on the pull-ups the, to start. Yeah. So the, like the black band on our website, that would be a great band for pull-ups. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, again, they have many different uses, very versatile. You can travel with them. Mm-hmm. So if you want a little resistance while you travel, bring a band with you. We have the workouts on their channel, so you can, if you don't know what to do with them, start there. Oh, and another thing you can do is add resistance band to your weights as well. Oh, I lightly (laughs) mentioned that. Yes, elaborate on that because that's a great idea. If you can't afford to go up in weight or like you want to wait to see if you really are getting a little stronger before you buy more weights, Mm -hmm. this is a cost-effective way. Exactly. So you can like, you know, say you're doing rows or even shoulder presses, you can attach 
um, the resistance band to like just hook it around the weights and just add some band resistance to the weights as mm -hmm. well. You can do it with a barbell. Um, I've, I've attached resistance bands to like a trap bar. So if yep. I'm doing trap bar squats or deadlifts. Kettlebells. Yeah, it's a great way to add just a different form of resistance because the difference between dumbbells and resistance bands, the reason I like resistance bands a little bit more sometimes is because it increases the uh, resistance as you get to the top of the movement. So let's say you're doing shoulder presses, right? It may start off at like 15 pounds of resistance at the bottom, but as you press that weight, okay, that, that band has a little give to it. So it might, it becomes a little harder mm -hmm. as you get to the top of the movement. Whereas with, you know, some dumbbells, it's 25 pounds at the bottom, 25 at the top, yes. right? It doesn't change. So it's a great way to kind of switch up um, just a different form of resistance and it, and it kind of challenges your body in a new way. So again, you can attach it to different weights. You can you can do you can attach it to a, a pole and do yeah. like twists. It's so many different things. I like putting them onto kettlebells for deadlifts or swings. Correct. That's correct. it. Just adds a little. Well, different maybe we need to make a video of how you can utilize resistance yeah. bands. That's a that's a. I think that'll be a good video. But again, all in all, like I could not. Other than dumbbells, resistance bands, I could not recommend that enough. So again, definitely go check it out if you want to get some off our website. Uh, check them out. I think our small resistance band is $12 and our medium one is $16. Mm -hmm. But with that 10% off, it's going to be a little cheaper. So, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, all right. Next up. What next we got up, next? Next up, uh, another sleeper is a medicine ball. And, by, and, and specifically what we're talking about today is a slam ball. So there are two different... You said oh. sleeper. Ooh. Yeah, it is a sleeper. I was sleeping. And you got sleeping. Okay. <laughs> um, but with a medicine ball, there's, there are a couple of different kinds. There's a medicine ball, one that bounces, right, that has mm -hmm. a little bounce to it. And we have what's called slam balls, which we particularly like, um, that have, I want to say it's like sand. sand and it has like a weight uh, weight Weighted within the core of the ball. Yeah. And it it's good for like just doing... Um, like just slam like if you want to go outside and do like some medicine ball slams or it just has like a different form of resistance. I can't describe it, but it has a different form of resistance because it has that weight uh, core in the middle of it. So the only reason we don't like the and, and just because don't don't if you want any type of medicine ball, you can get it. But we prefer the slam balls uh, just because they're they come with like a they have like a rubberized material on mm -hmm. the outside, too. So it's like a grip, nice little grip on the outside. Um, you can do push-ups on it. You can do use it as a uh, assistance with push-ups. You can yeah. just work your way down to the chest. Um, I, I personally like the slam balls better than the um, the, medicine. The, the medicine balls. And the but, medicine balls, think of ones that you see in like apartment gyms or hotel correct, gyms. Correct, correct. Like they're usually black with a uh, color around them a little. Yep. <laughs> and um, if you slam it, it will bounce back Beep. and hit you in the face. Yep. So those... If you have those, they're Great. not bad. You could use them yeah. for like some type of resistance, um, like hold them and squat, twist and lunge, do yeah. a Russian twist. Like there's still weight, so you can still yeah. use it. But the slam balls, again, give you a little more variety. And they have a little, they're a little like squishier, I yes. guess. They have yes, a little yes, yes. give to it. Whereas the medicine ball, they're just solid. They're like a, think of it it's, like a basketball. Yeah, like, like a, a hard basketball. basketball. Exactly. Yeah. And keep in mind here, we're trying to be, we're giving you things that have multiple um, uses, uses and variety because yep. if you're going to create a little space in your home, you don't want to have a rubber medicine ball <laughs> and a slam ball, yeah. right? Eliminate, you know, like they both do the same thing and the slam ball will give you a little bit more. Yeah. But if you want a rubber one, by all means, have one. Yeah, for um, sure. The slam ball, I love medicine ball slams. It's a great way to get your heart rate up to mm. um, work on that core and power. But mm. you could do a hit workout with it. If you have a heavy slam ball, you yeah. could do a strength workout. There's so many different ways that you can utilize a slam ball um, for a variety of workouts, not just hit, not just strength. I mean, you can do pretty much, again, you can do everything. Any Squats, exercise. lunges, yeah. shoulder presses. You can even do curls with it, um, chest press. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of different things you can do. So um, highly recommend you check out some of our, one of our most popular videos on the channel. I think it has over a million views is one of our medicine, 15-minute medicine, medicine ball workout. It's amazing. It's like a three-level workout to where if you're a beginner, we have like di three different levels you can work your way up to. So um, highly recommend. Again, I think a medicine ball will run you. It depends. I've seen a lot of different costs. I've seen some as low as $22. And specifically, I'm speaking of um, like regular medicine balls, like the ones that bounce. I've seen yeah. like 20 to $22 for a 10 pound medicine ball. But if you want to invest in what we particularly like is the slam balls, it's going to run you anywhere between 27 to $32. 
um, for a 10 to 15 pound slam ball. So it's really worth it though. I love oh, yeah. slam balls. It makes hit workouts so much fun. For sure. Um, you just feel so strong and powerful. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, there's so many different uses for them. So check out our medicine ball videos on the app yep. uh, or sorry, excuse me, on our YouTube channel. Um, and it just, it's so much fun and it just gives you a different style of workouts. And yeah. with all of these equipments that we've mentioned so far, it's important to have variety because it also changes up some of the muscles that you oh, use. Yeah. So holding a medicine ball when you squat might feel a little different than holding um, dumbbell. a dumbbell, but you're still getting the legs, but you might be firing your core in a different way or it's challenging your balance a little bit. So yep. um, include all of these pieces of equipment are great for just adding variety to your body. For sure. So with the medicine ball, let's say if you want to get a pair of dumbbells, get your resistance band and a medicine ball. With all of those, that's going to run you about about six. We are about sixty dollars right yeah, now. Yeah, depending so. on the weight, the size, all of that. So, so roughly sixty dollars. So for sixty dollars, you can literally get three pieces of equipment that will last you a lifetime. So yeah. I, and we have workouts for all three of those. Pieces you can't of beat equipment. that right no. there. You can't beat that. No. So uh, you know, hint that to your significant other if you want some pieces of equipment for the holidays. Yes, tell sir. them, to, tell them to give me, the, give, yes, give me the sixty dollar home <laughs> kit right there. All right, so but as, if we got a little bit more to spend, hey, we, got $40 we can add a little spend. bit more. Yeah. Um, next up, we have a mini band. Mini so band. this falls in the family of resistance bands, but specifically, this one is going to be a small loop band. Maybe mm -hmm. you've seen them called. Um, we've seen the, what's that? Like, not Velcro. Um, the little, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're like a, I forget the material. The material. It's like a cloth almost yeah. material of resistance band. We're that. specifically talking about rubber mini bands. The cloth ones are going to be most, not mostly, pretty much only for your legs. Yeah. The mini bands that are rubber that go around your legs are probably going to be, you're able to use those a little bit more for your upper body mm -hmm. too. Some of it might feel weird, but you're going to get some shoulder band <laughs> in there. Um, but Shoulder band. Shoulder band, shoulder work <laughs> in there. Um, but for this video, we're talking about the um, latex mini band. Yeah. So again, an easy thing you can travel with. Again, just like the resistance bands we mentioned earlier, these roll up even smaller, yeah. tiny. Um, so you can travel with them. You can hide them in your house. Again, it's not taking <laughs> up a ton of space. Yeah. That's the other thing with some of the equipment that we'd like to have. Like I love Swiss ball work or physio ball where work, but it's like, where that? are you going to put that? You know, <laughs> unless you have an actual space that's a gym in your house, house. it's just inconvenient, you yeah. know? So mini bands are great for muscle activation. You for can sure. activate the booty, you'll get in the thighs. Yeah. You'll typically see them uh, used for booty growth. <laughs> okay. So you, you see them for, you know, those little fire hydrants, <laughs> the, the clamshells, stuff like that. But again, they're great. Um, just for glute activation or again just like the resistance bands you can add them with your weight so yep. if you want to put the mini band around your knees to add some glute activation while you do squats or while you do deadlifts it's amazing yes. right it just gives you more uh, engagement and stimulus to that muscle and it makes it a lot more effective and it'll help you get a lot stronger too absolutely well. yeah. absolutely so mini bands kind of similar to um the other resistance bands yeah. depending on the resistance um they'll range in price anywhere from six to fifteen dollars sometimes cheap. like for a set of them you can get six dollars like you can get a whole set for some of yeah. them for six dollars yep so. i will say if you're gonna buy them um read the reviews because some of them snap. they're so light and <laughs> yes they snap so easily so read the reviews you want a good quality set so you can like yeah. i mean you're gonna be moving those bands so you don't want them to snap on you yeah. so read the reviews on them but a medium to heavy band some yeah. heavies are heavy like certain brands i can't use the heavy ones it's yeah. too much and so. one that's pretty popular in the industry that you pretty much might have seen everywhere is perform better my favorite uh, they have some pretty good um bands and they, they kind of i feel like they're like the industry standard as far as like the because the quality and um just the resistance too so like the blue band everybody knows the blue band is pretty much like the standard band and you have the green one the which blue is band is lighter <laughs> They have a blue, green, and then a black one. And, and they you... have a yellow. Oh, yeah. The yellow, yellow. is yellow like... is like pointless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um and then they have a black band, which if you if you got the black band, you're gonna you you putting some work in. Oh with yeah, that one. So, absolutely. So, absolutely. Um, definitely check them out again. Six to fifteen dollars. That can give you uh either a set of bands or you know, you can get some single bands if you need them, if you want to get one for your friend. 
uh, do so as well. They're pretty inexpensive. So in yep. a great way to add um, some different resistance to your workout. Yeah. So now we're at about 66 to $70. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Next up. Um, another sleeper. They're all sleepers. I can say that about everything, but um, a jump rope. Yep. All right. So listen, if you're someone who doesn't like to do cardio, you don't like to go run, you hate hiking, or you live in a place where it's just you can't go outside that often, a jump rope is a great, great piece of cardio equipment. And you might be asking, Juice, I don't jump rope. I can't. <laughs> I've never jump rope in my life. It's honestly worth learning. It's something that I want to get back into. I love jump rope. I, I love jump rope just because it's just it's just great, great cardio that you can do like literally anywhere. Literally anywhere. You can like go to a park and go to a beach. Well, probably not the beach. The sand is not going to work. <laughs> um, but you can do it anywhere. And it's, it's just good to get. It's one of those things that you, um, it, once you start doing it, you want to get better at mm-hmm. it. <laughs> like once yeah. you, it's, it's, especially when you first start jump roping, like it's frustrating. But once you get it, now you're adding tricks to it. You're adding intervals to it, right? And you can even, um, one thing I used to do is I used to just mix it in with my um, circuits, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll do uh, two strength exercises within the circuit, and then I'll do an, an active rest mm-hmm. of like 30 seconds of jump rope. It's just a good way to just kind of get some good um, cardio work within yeah. your workouts as well. And again, you can do it all in one place. You don't need a big, heavy treadmill. You don't need a rower, none of that is good, just stagnant or, or not stagnant. It's good stationary uh, movement. Yes. And great also for coordination and balance. Oh, Your yeah. hop, especially once you get into like doing some single legs or like high mm-hmm. knees and tricks and things like that, yeah. it takes focus and it also takes core strength. You're cool. really working full body here doing this as well. Your yep. shoulders are going to start to burn. Um, so it's great overall, like wonderful for cardio, but you're getting some work in full body as for well. Sure. And like I mentioned too, it's an easy travel piece, especially if you're traveling, like let's say home, not necessarily maybe a hotel, but mm-hmm. let's say you're going home to visit family, but there's no gym, like there's not a lot of equipment. Um, bring a jump rope, go outside, you know, and it's also a great way to get some fresh air. So oh, yeah. I love jump rope interval workouts and if you have one at home and you also have a medicine ball, hey. one of my favorite things is to do intervals with jump ropes and slams wow. and jump ropes and slams. It's a great little cardio workout that's fun and the time goes by so fast. For sure. So um, a cool thing, you know, again, you can literally create your own travel routine. You can have a resistance band. You can have a, bring a mini band with you and a jump rope. And now you have a pretty good um little group of core group of equipment that you can use for exercises on the go. So uh, definitely recommend a jump rope. Again, just like the mini band and the resistance band, uh, the jump rope is very inexpensive. Now you can get some expensive jump ropes, you know, the super, you know, they have, um, they even have jump ropes with uh, weighted jump ropes as well. So the handles are weighted so you can add some resistance to the upper body. Um, again, obviously jump roping involves the lower body a lot mm-hmm. more, but if you want to add uh, a lot more resistance to the upper body, especially the wrists and the biceps and the yeah. shoulders. Uh, get some of those weighted jump ropes as well. So as far as the cost of the jump rope, I've seen some on Amazon literally as low as $6. You don't need anything crazy. <laughs> you don't need um, the jump rope. Their jump ha- rope's like $300. No, literally. Or more maybe even. Yeah, like they're, like they're expensive. super expensive. And some of them have like a rep counter, which yeah. <laughs> like you don't need that. Like Or a speed, it calculates the You're speed. Grab a friend and have them count your yeah. reps. <laughs> yeah, you don't need all that. But for 6 to $12, you can get a solid jump rope. Um, and it, it's good for the home gym. So, yes, yes. so now we're at about uh, 80 to $84. All right. Well, let's spend the rest of that budget. Let's spend some money. So right. our last piece of equipment in our $100 home gym is exercise sliders. Sliders. Um, and these, we also have slider workouts on our channel. Mm-hmm. And I'll say this one. These are also a sleeper. Yeah. There are so many different ways that you can use sliders. First of all, I'm pretty sure they started as furniture movers. Like you <laughs> slide them under the couch and move. Yeah. Um, but you can use them for core. You can use them for cardio. You can use them in your strength workouts. Just yesterday, he was telling me you should do your single leg deadlifts with the mm-hmm. slider to help with control. I open up my hips a lot, so I'm yep. trying to keep it controlled down. So that you can put them within your workouts. You can do a whole workout only using sliders. 
they have so many yeah, different uses for sure and we have uh, i think we <laughs> our exercise sliders got popular we actually sold out of our sliders yes, on our we website did. i would uh plug ours but we need to do another order we'll for, re-up soon check we'll the website soon yeah we'll do a, a re-up but again we also have a few exercise slider workouts on the channel as well. Yep. Uh, so definitely go check those out. It's just a different form of resistance. Again, you can do lunges with them. You can do push-ups with a little slide out. Yep. You can do core. Um, it just kind of adds uh, just a different dynamic uh, to your workouts, mm-hmm. right? So um, highly recommend. And for exercise sliders, again, very, very inexpensive. You can get some sliders anywhere from 6 to $12. Yep. On, I believe on our website, we had ours for $10, right? Yep. So definitely go check those out. Um, again, you can add those. Again, you can add them with dumbbells. This is again all of these pieces of equipment you can add together and 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 um, sort of formulate a workout routine with all of these. Definitely, you know what I mean. So, you could use every single piece of equipment we mentioned today in one workout if you wanted to. <laughs> and I've done it. Like I've literally done like especially on my like high intensity days. I've yeah. used all these pieces of yeah. equipment. So uh, definitely go check all of those out. Again, you can get all five of these pieces of equipment for under a hundred dollars considering the fact that if you're starting at 10 to 15 pound dumbbells if yes. you're looking to get a lot heavier obviously that's going to cost you a little bit more uh, if you're looking to get 20 pound 25 pound dumbbells i think those run close to 50 mm-hmm. uh, think of it like um if, if you're wondering like how much uh dumbbells would cost um think of it it's probably going to cost you anywhere between a dollar fifty to two dollars a pound right just kind of think of it like that and if you're looking to invest, kind of factor that into your budget. Just think two dollars a pound. If I want some thirties, probably going to cost me maybe sixty bucks mm-hmm. per, depending on the quality of the dumbbells that you buy. So, yes. um, again, highly recommend you go check those out. But before we get into the giveaway, let's uh, go through some honorable mentions. All right. Oh, so yeah. these aren't necessarily the most cost effective, but if you have some room in the budget, if you really want, and, and I want you to look at it like this too. Um, a lot of people, when it comes to buying equipment, again. We, we do obviously understand that everybody's under a budget. Like you don't, you know, everybody doesn't have a lot of money to spend on just this quality workout. stuff and, and workout equipment. But really just think of all the things that you would purchase for your workouts as an investment in your health. Yes. Right? If, if you really just kind of change your mindset of how you look at it, again, you, you, know, you can look at all this stuff. You can put a lot of stuff in your cart and it's like $200. But at the end of the day, that $200 all of this stuff will last you a lifetime. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that we mentioned other than maybe the resistance bands that might wear over time. But at the end of the day, those are the most inexpensive things yes. on the list. The things yes. that cost more are the most Quality durable. Quality and durable. Exactly. Yep. So definitely look at, you know, purchasing these pieces of equipment as I'm investing in myself. I'm investing in my health. And I'm going to, you know, if I'm in, serious about my fitness and being mm-hmm. healthy, I'm going to use it. It's going. You're going to get your money worth at the end yes. of the day. And one thing that we had someone mention once is the they looked at the amount of money they spent eating out. Mm. And mm. it was, you know, you have groceries at home, but they were eating out and they took that and used that for equipment at home and changing. They were changing up their health, you know, anyway. So eating out, eating fast food kind of yeah. comes with that. And so the amount of money, a lot of times it's so easy to say, I can't afford it. But if we look at other things we're spending, yep. can we really? I think you we know? can. So pri- I think we can. prioritizing, you know. Yeah, so sure. like he said, it's an investment in your health. If you're trying to change your lifestyle, change your health, there are ways we can prioritize um, yeah. and make it work sometimes. Sometimes sure. we can't. Sometimes we can. Yeah. So, so definitely look at it like that, uh, especially as we go into the new year. So, yeah. All right. So some All quick right. honorable mentions. All right. So these aren't the most cost effective. I'm going to warn you. But if you got some room in the budget and you really want to take your fitness to the next level, got to recommend kettlebells. Absolutely. Man. Kettlebells, honestly, somebody asked us one day, like, what piece of equipment did you do you like the most? And I, I was I was kind of torn because it. You know, before I would probably say like a barbell or dumbbells, but the more I've been using kettlebells over the course of my, you know, honestly started using, I, I really didn't really start using kettlebells. I used them in college a little bit, but I really didn't start using, using kettlebells till I moved to L.A. Mm-hmm. And when I really, you know, had some coaches and, and people and trainers, you know, really just teach us the ins and outs. And we've taken kettlebell certifications. Um, we have kettlebell certifications that we've taken in the past. Kettlebell might be my favorite piece of equipment because at the end of the day, you can do anything, pretty much anything with the kettlebell that you can do with the dumbbell. But with the design of a kettlebell, you can do a lot of dynamic movements Mm -hmm. that are not as, uh, it's kind of, 
it's harder to do with the dumbbell, just just the design of the dumbbell, right? So like, for example, swings, like kettlebell swings, one of my favorite movements of all time, it involves pretty much the whole body. You can do this as a cardio workout if you want to, and it works the glutes, which is, you know, a prime mover. Um, I, I think like you, you, it's hard to do that with dumbbells. Of course, you can do the skier swings, but I feel like it's even a little bit more dangerous <laughs> to yeah. do to do it with people dumbbells. hit their knees yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah exactly so there are some movements that you can do with dumbbells like cleans for example you can't really do cleans in a you know in the same way that you can do um like cleans with the kettlebell um there's a lot of different things and if you really want to see like just the differences um and especially in the exercises go check out our kettlebell workouts on the channel uh, we do a lot of different movements obviously the same core movements you'll see rows squats lunges deadlifts but also, again, we have like jack, not jack knives, uh, wood chops mm -hmm. uh, with the kettlebell, uh, overhead chops, um, swings, so stuff like, oh, uh, snatches. Yep. Right. Stuff yep. like that. Like you can do with dumbbells, but it just creates a different dynamic. And honestly, I, I feel a lot more, this sounds funny, but I feel more athletic sometimes yeah. when I'm using kettlebells. It just makes me feel like cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. definitely check, recommend checking out, uh, getting some kettlebells. Again, start light, especially if you haven't used kettlebells before. Start at some a 10 to 15 pound pair. And don't, and also with kettlebells, typically you don't even really need doubles. Right. Um, you don't, don't feel like you need They're to They're fun get, to have. It's, but... it's cool to have. Like if you want to get um, a, a pair of kettlebells just to have the same weight if you want to do double. But um, again, we usually like to do um, just single arm stuff uh, with the kettlebell. Yeah. And you can do like goblet as well to where yep. you just need a single one. So if you want to invest in multiple kettlebells, just get those singles. Those will work out fine. And, so, and most of the kettlebell workouts that we have uh, utilize just one uh, kettlebell too as well. So yeah. definitely cool. check them out. And if I had to recommend one company for kettlebells, go check kettlebell out Kettlebell Kings. King. Shout out to Kettlebell Kings, man. They sent us an entire set uh, of kettlebells i think it was a couple years ago mm -hmm. and they have been um using all of our videos um they've been they're super quality uh they have like a coated material yep. on the outside um and they've lasted us a long time so definitely check out kettlebell kings if you're looking to invest in a quality pair but again you can get some a lot more uh cost effective on amazon they're again they have that uh kind of plasticky material which i don't really like but Again, a kettlebell is a kettlebell. You're starting off. If you're starting off, that's all you need. Yes. Right. So check out Kettlebell Kings. Shout out Kettlebell Kings uh, for the kettlebells, man. They're amazing. Um, what's next? All right. And then next up, our last honorable mention is a bench or a box. Oh, yeah. So this is something that um, you might want to have like a dedicated space. So if you're someone who just has your weights kind of in the corner in the living room like we did for a long time, <laughs> um, uh, this probably wouldn't be a great option for you, but let's say you have a garage gym or a room that's dedicated to the gym. Yep. A bench could be a great addition. There's so many different things you could do. Like you could use it for step ups. You could use it for box jumps. You bench can press. use it for bench press. You, you can use it for dips. There's so many exercises mm. that you can utilize it for. Could you do some of these things to a chair or like an ottoman? Sure. sure. Yeah. Um, but but don't, don't again, if you're exactly if you're if you've got a space for your workout, um, this is something that we like. I use a bench weekly in my workouts, whether mm -hmm. it's for step-ups or jumps yeah. or dips. Um, but if I didn't have a bench, it wouldn't negate me from working for out. Sure. You know? For sure. So it's one of those things that, you know, let's say you have all of the pieces of equipment that we mentioned, but you still have $100 to spend. Yep. I, I'm actually not sure how much benches are really, but yep. honestly, they're probably not that crazy expensive, that expensive. And you don't need... Um, you could get one that like inclines, yeah. but unless you think you're going to do a lot of incline presses or, yeah. you know, then the cheaper ones that are, that don't incline mm -hmm. are totally fine. Cause that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm not even talking about an incline one. So, yeah. um, just a regular flat bench yeah. probably is less than a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, and that would be a great addition to have. You will even see like some people will do some crazy plyo stuff on there, like <laughs> yeah. holding on and jumping over. Yeah. If you want to do that, that looks fun. Like, yeah. you know, get different way to get in some hit workouts. But mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of core exercises that you can oh, do yeah. at the bench, like holding on to the bench mm -hmm. um, that you couldn't do on the floor. Or so. like elevated sit ups where you can do sit ups, yeah. put your heels on the, on bench, the bench. And oh, man, those are hard. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, you can you can make it multi multifunctional if you want to. Like we have a. 
sort of a bench ottoman over here that has storage. So if you want to buy something from the house for the house to make yep. it more aesthetic, but also use it for working can't, out. That one got some reps of some hey, box jumps. Listen, <laughs> yeah, they got some box jumps back in the day when we had you know, our old apartment and COVID was happening. We used that for box jump step, step ups. Step ups, man. everything. It, 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 it worked. So um, if you want to make it multifunctional, get some new new uh, furniture for the house, but also something that you can do box jumps on and, and you know bench press, hey, a multifunctional will multifunctional. do it. Multifunctional. For sure. So um, this is uh, just kind of a general um, list. I'll link everything down in the show notes in the description of the video so if you can have some reference points. But again, do your research um, on all of these pieces of equipment. Again, under $100, you can get all these things. And it's just a great starting point. And then at how we, we'll close this up by saying, you know, we recommend, again, start off with those dumbbells. And we kind of listed all of these things out in order mm -hmm. of uh priority that we think you should get it so again if you are in a budget and you only got 50 dollars to spend go for the dumbbells first yes. right that's just gonna uh, give you a lot more range a lot more versatility and then you can go on to the resistance band which is very mm -hmm. inexpensive i definitely recommend just getting those two as a pair and then you know once you once you really start getting it going, you can start getting into the mini bands, the the medicine ball, and of course the jump rope. Mm -hmm. So, um, highly recommend. But before we get out of here, we want to just give you some uh, recommendations on how you can sort of build up your gym over time, right? So yep. let's say you, um, let's say you. Oh, I, I want to say another. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Another honorable mention: a barbell. Oh yeah. Right. So yeah, <laughs> I, this I, one it is last on the honorable mention yeah. because it is one of those that's like going to be very select. Yeah, very select. So uh, with a barbell, I if you asked me this question ten years ago as far as my favorite piece of equipment, I probably would have said barbell because again you can do a lot of the same sort of movements. The only thing is it's a pretty fixed thing, right? So if you're uh, someone, let's say you have a your left arm is weaker than your right arm. A barbell won't be very beneficial because it's harder. It's it's a fixed, harder to isolate. Yeah, it's hard to isolate. And it's a fixed piece of weight. But again, a barbell is one of those things that it it really it takes up space, but it doesn't. If you have a ple a means of say you have a garage and you can stack it up in the corner of your garage, it really doesn't take up a lot of space if you kind of stack it up and put it in the corner. So um, if you the only thing that makes a barbell pretty expensive is adding the weights. Once you want to yes. start adding some weights to it. But they come in a variety of sizes. I've seen barbells that are like 10 pounds. I've yep. seen some that are 25. And then the standard weight is a 45-pound, 20-kilo uh, barbell. That's so, the one you want. So the reason I kind of mentioned, mentioned that as an honorable mention, because this is something I would build up in your home gym over time. So, again, start off with those five pieces of equipment that we mentioned today. But then, you know, once you really start getting advanced, start looking at those kettlebells. I mean, kettlebells are great. Um, barbells are great. And, again, this is all about – adding variation variation yes. variation yes. we can't stress this enough the more variation you add to your workouts the more progress the more results you're going to see because think about it we mentioned this before as far as like programming for yourself if you're doing the same workout same resistance all the time guess what you're going to get the same results right mm -hmm. your body is smart your body knows uh, you know, if you do a five mile run every day, of course, it's good for your body. It's good to kind of keep your cardio up, but it's going to come a point in time where your body is going to get used to that five pound yeah. pace. It's not going to do anything for your body. It's nothing your body, you know, hasn't done or hasn't, you know, doesn't have the, um, what am I looking for? It doesn't have the uh, ability to, yeah. you know, regenerate from, right? But let's say you increase, let's say you add a weight vest to that five mile run, right? Now you create a different resistance and you're going to feel the difference as soon as you get back from that run or maybe even the day later, just because now you've broken that chain of doing the same old thing. Now you've created some variation. So the same thing with your workouts. You know, if, you just, if you've if you been using dumbbells for a while, do a resistance band workout. I guarantee you that will change how your muscles work. It's, again, it's a different form of resistance. And then over time, you'll feel that you'll be a lot stronger in, in a lot of different movements just because, again, you have that variation over time. So uh, highly recommended. Whatever you have in the budget, if you have space in your house, get as many pieces of equipment as you can. And, and it just makes working out more fun, right? Yeah. You can do, you can break it up to where you can do a dumbbell workout on Monday, uh, you know, a barbell workout on Tuesday, medicine bark medicine ball workout on Wednesday and then you can do some jump rope and cardio on Thursday right you can just really split things up and that's going to give you that variation that you need to really uh, see some change especially if you're looking to lose some body fat it's a great way to uh, really challenge your body in that way so yeah and one thing that I recommend <clears throat> when it comes to building the gym up over time mm -hmm. um, prioritize what you need we gave you this list in 
order of importance, but that is very subjective. If you're someone who travels a lot, you might want to look at the mini band, resistance band, and jump rope first, or in the exercise sliders. Those are, I don't think we mentioned, those are also very easy to travel with. Easy. They're super Do skinny. Do I have one here? They're, Maybe if you're watching, I can show you, but... Uh, yeah, there we'll we'll drop well, a yeah, picture or something, picture. but they're very lightweight. So if you travel often for work and you don't need equipment at home, let's say you go to hotels a lot and there's a hotel gym, the hotel gym will probably have dumbbells, but it probably won't have resistance bands, mini bands, or sliders. Correct. So if you travel often, that might be your first priority, mm -hmm. right? Because you may not need dumbbells because you travel enough to get your strength in uh, with dumbbells there. And you want to add some varieties when you travel. Yep. Um, and also sometimes hotel gym dumbbells are like mismatched. Sometimes they mm, get a little. Yeah, but and so, um, again, do this in priority of what is best for you. Yep. Like he said, if you only have $50, take a look at this list and say, okay, out of all of these things, what speaks the most to me? What if I... To be honest with you, like let's say I had dumbbells and I'm looking at the rest of the list, I would want a medicine ball because I like to have fun and <laughs> throw things. Yeah. So, um, you know, you might want to try out the sliders because you looked at the slider workouts and you're like, oh, that looks fun. I want to try that. Yeah. So um, definitely we mentioned a hundred dollar home gym, but definitely make this work for you. If you are we've even had probably so many comments on I canceled my gym membership um, because I found your guys free workouts and so many people said they utilized um, the gym membership money they were spending to, to buy weights and we think that's so awesome because it's like you know you were already spending that money monthly um, so maybe you do something like that where yeah. you're like okay I used to spend. $25 a week at McDonald's on lunch. Now, yeah. instead, I'm going to bring my lunch and I saved $15 by buying groceries for 10 yeah. and I'm going to put that 15 towards equipment. It can be something like yeah. that. It doesn't have to be $100 all at one time. So, sure. And it's something that we did during yeah. the pandemic. 100%. We started off searching and searching for <laughs> dumbbells. And if you remember the price gouging, my it was God. impossible. Possible, so we were like, okay, we found dumbbells, yeah. and then we got some medicine balls, and then I bought some sliders. Like it was just, you know, we couldn't afford to just buy. Again, we were at gyms yeah. every single day, so all the equipment that we wanted, kettlebells, dumbbells, we mm -hmm. wanted everything because yeah. that's what we had access to our whole life. Yeah. Um, so we had to make priorities. Like, what do we want first? We need some dumbbells. We want to get some strength in. Okay, what's next? I want to get some hit. You know, so just prioritize what you need in your workouts for your lifestyle mm -hmm. um, and what you can afford to spend and then build it up from there. Oh, yeah. So with that being said, we're going to do a little giveaway. So um, under the video portion, if you don't know, if you're listening to this, go subscribe to the channel, the new Juice and Toya podcast channel. Um, but for the giveaway, we're going to give away a $100 Amazon gift card where you can access all the pieces of equipment that we mentioned today. Ooh. And again, we're going to mention all of, um, we're going to link all of these different pieces of equipment that we recommend in the show notes. So mm -hmm. if you're looking to get something, we'll recommend it um, in those show notes. But we're going to give away a $100 gift card to where you can purchase your own $100 home gym. Let's do um, it. So what I want you to do is go under this video and comment why you think this uh, $100 home gym will be benefit for, beneficial for you, Whether especially if you have a family or people who could also utilize it. Uh, drop it down in the comments, and we're going to choose one lucky winner to send a $100 Amazon gift card. So this will be, I guess, the time we're filming this, this will probably go out uh, in the next four days, so the following week. So we're going to leave the giveaway open to about... Christmas time, I think. Yeah, one week from when we one post One week, it. yeah, one week yeah. from when we post so it. So have a post date. You have one week to comment. Yes. Um, and we love reading through all of the podcast comments oh, yeah. because we get a lot of ideas on what you guys would like to see. So leave a comment. We'll be reading all of them and we'll choose one lucky winner. Again, like you said, let us know why $100 would be beneficial to you and maybe... I would like to know what piece of equipment would you get? Yeah. What, you know, you could say all of it, but what piece of equipment maybe you don't have that you're like, oh, I didn't know I For could sure. actually use a medicine ball For or sure. a jump rope because I love jump roping. Yeah. So, so. yeah, definitely drop a comment and we're going to choose a lucky winner and uh, we'll announce it maybe either in the next podcast or uh, check out on our Instagram or our YouTube community group 
uh, where we'll announce it there. Yep. But, and um, if you're the winner, we'll also comment back to your comment as oh, well. Yeah. Um, so look out for that. But for yeah, sure. amazing. Right. I got a dad joke. Oh, let's get it. Dad jokes on tap. Do you have I don't one? have one today. I got two. My I last got, one was pretty good. I got one uh, for both of us. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. What's the easiest way to get a six pack in the gym? What's the easiest way to get six pack? You know, six pack abs. What's the easiest way to get it in the gym? The easiest way to get a six pack in the gym is to buy it and carry it in. Yeah, that's pretty much the answer. Oh, wow. <laughs> get you a six pack of beer and carry it and bring it to the gym. Because when you said six pack, that's the first thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the easy. I always come with a little easier one, and then, okay, I, and then I kind of come with one that you know, whatever. Okay. All right. Um, why isn't why did the personal trainer stop paying his rent? Let me think about it. Why didn't the person? Why, why did the personal trainer stop paying his rent? Why did the personal trainer stop paying his rent? Yeah. All right. Let me think about this for like two seconds because I One, feel like I can think about it. Two. Why did the personal trainer <laughs> who works out, he lives, he, why did he stop paying his rent? You got five seconds. He, he didn't lift there anymore. That is actually that's really good. I, I didn't expect that he didn't live there anymore. That's at a solid. Wait, can I have uh, get, count to ten? I just gotta think one more time because I'm gonna be frustrated if I don't get it. He didn't rent. Three, two, one. Because he's squatting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, I knew I was going to feel so annoyed if I didn't get that. And now I feel annoyed. That was so he's, easy. He's a squatter. Yeah. So I'm yeah. thinking, I was thinking like training them, training other. Oh, you were, man. That, that was a good answer you had. That was a good answer you had. That was solid. <laughs> that was a good dad joke. That All right, everybody. Rate my dad jokes. I'm, I'm trying to get a lot I'm coming better. with a good one next time. It's I'm, hard because I'm trying to keep them all fitness, but I might get out of the box in the next one. They don't episode. have to be fitness. Mine was how do you make a... Egg what roll? was it? How do you make an egg roll? <laughs> I'm so mad at that. I'm still mad at that one. Push it. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> I hate it. I actually would type an egg roll. Anyways. All right, everybody. Well, to be fair, <laughs> you just said six pack abs trying to throw me off. I didn't say... I said... You said no, six pack abs. I, I, I said six pack And then I did this. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. So <laughs> I just want to say I wish that I still ate Laffy Taffy's because they had the best jokes on the back of the wrapper. Oh, yeah. I haven't had a Laffy Taffy in probably like... They did have a good joke. Man, I haven't had a Laffy man, Taffy in good. like 10 years or yeah. something. I don't even remember. But they had... And Popsicle Sticks. Popsicle... They had... Remember? Jokes? Popsicle Sticks had jokes on the I sticks. I don't remember. Yeah. What kind of childhood did you... I don't know. I, I might have the cheaper <laughs> versions. They weren't creative. Childhoods <laughs> are unmatched because yeah. we we had some good jokes growing up. But yeah. I'm coming with a good dad joke next week. That All was right. a great dad joke. Good okay. job. Okay, appreciate you. Appreciate good you. Job. All right, everybody. That was the episode on the hundred dollar home gym. Definitely recommend you go uh, get some pieces of equipment, take your fitness to the next level. Um, but also, if you haven't already. Um, Go check out some of our videos on the channel that you haven't seen. We have a lot of, you know, that's one thing we try to pride ourselves on is just having uh, something for everybody. Again, you know, one thing that we try to get away from, you know, as we wrap this up, one thing we try to get away from is um, having this all, all size fits all mentality. One right? size fits or, all. Uh, yeah, one size, you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> one size fits all a mentality to where, you know, everybody thinks like, oh, the best way to get results is just doing dumbbells, just doing dumbbell work, strength training. No, you can do, honestly, whatever works for you, whatever you enjoy. Yes. There are people who are fit, who are, haven't even touched a weight, right? There are yeah. people who do mostly calisthenics, right, That to where they don't even use dumbbells, use weights, right? So we highly recommend, you know, finding something that works for you, something that you enjoy. Again, Toya just mentioned, like, she loves doing jump roping and uh, and medicine ball work together, right? But I also no, like to run, and yeah, I like exactly. the Stairmaster. You right? know, there's so many there's no different one, things you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one way to to reach your goals, right? So um, we mentioned all of these pieces of equipment today because they all can work toward whatever goal you're trying mm -hmm. to achieve. Whether you're trying to build muscle, lose body fat, or just overall just get fit, they all will assist in helping you do so. So find a regimen, find a routine, and uh, pieces of equipment that work for you and your home gym and you'll be good to go. Yes, you know what yes. I mean? So again, 
We appreciate all of y'all for joining us again. Subscribe to the Juicy Toy Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast. And as always, like I mentioned, we read all of the comments. So please drop suggestions of future episodes that you'd like to see. Yep. Um, but also in this one specifically, let us know what piece of equipment you could use and why this home gym would be beneficial and we'll be choosing a lucky winner oh yeah and also wherever you listen to your podcast be sure to rate us and let us know how we're doing again we want to continue to put out more episodes in the future so continue to drop your suggestions on what you want us to talk about and we're going to continue to provide you with some valuable information and also come with the joke so again we appreciate all of you for joining us for another episode and we'll see you all at the next one Thank you.